Now we download already the SAM package in the WordPress package and ready to install our local web server. Click. As you see, made by Bitnami. And click OK. Click Next. No touch here. Next. The best installation directory, guys, is D. Next. And as you see, WordPress for Drupal, for Joomla, SAM is for everything CMS. Maybe uncheck this. Next. And next. And we will wait after finish this. And guys, this will be pop up. Click Allow Access. And the installing are continued. And finally done. Our local web server are installed. And click Finish. Save. And after install the SAMP, the application will be add to the what do you call this this area and it will be stark and start this apache mysql if this pop up guys allow access and also the filezilla stark allow access to and let's access the local web server in google chrome type http colon slash slash local host click enter and welcome to the samp home page this page guys is accessible without internet because this page is hosted to your local computer Access your database. We will add a database for our blog later in this video. And your PHP info. And let's access the D directory because we installed the SAM to the D directory. D, this is the D directory. This is the SAM folder. This is the extraction file. This is an extra trash guys from sam i believe this comes from sam delete this delete this and remain this sam folder and this is the directories guys comes from sam package and as you see there are a bunch of folders here but the important folders here is the htdocs and php and php my admin let's click the htdocs this directory htdocs we will be save our wordpress website local hosts and these files are this page if you have a knowledge in html so create a folder here for our local wordpress website i craft wp this is my wordpress blog name guys you can enter here any want name your name or your blog name enter click let's test this directory file new test rename html enter if you want to see the extension of the file guys click view and check this file name extension it will be show the file extension check to edit the html extension click open with notepad and let's test this p p close p tag hello and let's access this guys to our browser hit back and rename this copy this is the folder our wordpress localhost copy and remove this dashboard p 
paste and this is the folder we created and this file this file and this file are the same this is the folder icraft wp and click this and now our file is running in the browser hello now guys we will run our wordpress here go to desktop cut cut and back to htdocs delete this paste and extract extract by the way guys this software is winwar you can download this free in the internet just type in google winrar and install and as you see you can extract a zip file now guys the package are finally extract we don't need this you can delete this if you want and this is the inside of the package cut this and paste out of the wordpress folder and delete this and this is your wordpress localhost this is your site name in your localhost you can add a folder here if you want any site name my site one without space guys or this is my website too my wp site two any name guys and let's access this guys remove this we access the root directory of icraft wp the folder itself htdocs click this and uh, finally the wordpress localhost up and running english your language click continue and also guys we create a database first go to your localhost slash php my admin create a database click this new create a database name any name you want guys i suggest guys use a unique name of this in this case this is example i use the same name copy same name but in live guys i will not use that name i will use the unique name because this is a local host that's fine create a database and this is your database Oop, let's back to htdocs click this let's copy this guys copy paste and as you see the file are duplicate and rename this and remove this like that there have a sample config in the wp config.php let's edit this in the editor notepad plus plus you can download a notepad plus plus guys just go to the google.com type notepad plus plus let's add the database here what is the database name the database name we create is icraft wp the database name i craft wp the default username guys in samp in your local web hosting is root without password but in the live web hosting guys we'll add a real password the real username and the unique database name and copy this copy we already add the database name the username of your database and the password if in case it's root it's blank copy this go to your browser paste copy this salt key 
copy back to editor and replace this save also guys this is very important that table prefix we need to change this in the unique character but we will do this in the live server but for now i'll leave for wp but we will change that in the live server later in this course and finally save and let's back and let's reload this reload again choose a language and finally we are in the welcome page add your site title and your username of course this is an example username and my password very weak i strongly suggest replace a strong password guys in live server if weak that's fine for local hosting your email of course email and because we're in in web development i check this discourage search engine from indexing but we will turn this on in the live server and finally click install wordpress and finally our wordpress localhost installed let's access the public side this is the admin side guys this is your public side and finally guys we install our local wordpress to our local computer and the next video we will access this so see you next video bye <music>